Beaver Calhoun. Merry Christmas, Bo. Oh, boy, right back at you. Come on in. Come on in. Why aren't you down in Texas? I've got a message for you from your pa. Beaver told me he has a, a message for us from pa. Uh, Beaver, pa's dead. Ace will never really die. This concerns the entire Buchanan family, and particularly Ace's long-lost son. Would Ace have sent his attorney over in the middle of Christmas? Well, maybe it's good news. Well. Oh, dear. Congratulations. Nothing means more to me than, than my family. And you, you all did me proud. Oh, sorry, wrong disc. Wrong disc. Asa was prepared for every eventuality. You all had only one job to do, and you couldn't do that right. Last year, I gave you a deadline to bring up B.E. stock price. You couldn't even do that. You let it sink like the Titanic. Which means you all lose everything you have got. You knew the stakes. Stocks up, you're rich. Stocks down, you're broke. And don't give me any Wait, of your damn on, on. excuses. This, this has to be a mistake. Hey, Nigel, could you please pour me a big glass of that uh, fancy whiskey? Just skip the eggnog. He couldn't possibly have known that Dorian took over the company. Oh, or that we'd be banking with the U.S. government. Well, they're... they're, 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 they're it doesn't matter here. how you blew it. You blew it. What are you going to do now? Try to reason well, I mean, them? when he says everything, does he mean everything? Just so we're clear about everything... And I mean everything. The gravy train is over. Nora, pack your bags. Maybe Rene will take you into the palace. Bo, you might want to try to get that do-nothing mayor of ours to actually pay you a salary. Clint, see if Vicky will take you back. She's still loaded, right? Because the rest of you, my friends, a flat ass broke. I, I've always believed you use money to take care of your family. And family to take care of your money. Since you, you all couldn't hack it, time to give someone else a chance. Someone else? Someone in the family? By now you know I had another son. Oh. I told Nigel to hold on to his name and until the time was right. And if he hasn't spilled the beans already, I'm going to do it myself. I, Asa Buchanan, leave everything I own locked, stock, and barrel to the son I never acknowledged, David Vickers. You're all asking yourselves, how can I give my fortune to that jackass, David Vickers, even if he is my own flesh and blood? <laughs> now you start to make sense. It's called huh? incentive. I need to dangle a carrot in front of the lot of you. Think of Vickers as one big carrot. Money means nothing. True enlightenment cannot be obtained through the material world. This guy is nothing but a con artist and a snake in the grass. Your He's going right. to spend my money faster than he can make it. Still, you're going to give it to him. So you have got to stop him. And how are we supposed to do that? Don't ask me how to do it. Figure it out. We're standing here having a conversation with the TV. And it's working. What do we do now? I suggest you start preparing to turn everything over to David Vickers. When do the funds get transferred? Well, as soon as we can track him down. 
You don't know where he is? Well, my P.I. has uh, checked out a few leads. I'm flying out tonight to look into one of them. And then once you find him? I'll inform him of his inheritance. Really good seeing you all again. <laughs> Happy holidays. Yeah. Right back at you. Well, <clears throat> anyone want to help me pack up the bar? How can you joke at a time like this? Well, you heard what Pa said. I got a salary. Nobody is packing anything. All we have to do is follow Ace's orders and outsmart Vickers. That sounds good. Any ideas? No, not at the moment, but uh, till we do, we should keep this thing quiet. Which shouldn't be all that hard, because other than Renee and Natalie and Jared, Nigel, the only people who know that Vickers is a Buchanan are right here in this room. Sir. There are two others. For all we know, Vickers is in Timbuktu. He has no idea that he's worth millions. <laughs> Max Holden and Alex Olenoff, huh? Now, how did they find out that Vickers is Ace's son? I'm afraid I confided in Mr. Holden about Mr. Vickers at Mr. Buchanan's funeral. I was overwrought. Mm. And Alex? Was listening. I'm going to go run uh, Vickers through the database at the department. Well, if we're at all lucky, he's in a Thai prison somewhere. I'm hoping it's a Turkish prison. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Nigel. Did they say what they were planning to do with this bit of information? Mr. Holden swore he would never tell another living soul about Mr. Vickers. I know he wouldn't do anything to jeopardize your family. Yes. And Alex? I offered her a bribe. You didn't have to sleep with her, did you, Nigel? Oh, uh, uh, please. No, I gave her my bequest from Mr. Buchanan. His boat, the Jeb Stewart, as well as his island, St. Blazes. And Alex, is there right now? Where no one with any interest in the Buchanan family will encounter her. Passport, photo ID. Oh, this is an absolute inspiration, son. Sand. No extradition treaty. Ah, St. Blazes, I am on my way. <laughs> Jean-Marc!